Good morning, live. It's Billy Rowe coming to you with today's Wednesday word. Wednesday word. Anyway, um, getting started today. Today's title is Ignoring Forks in the Road. Forks. You know, when you come to that straight road and it forks and you got to make a decision to go left or right. Um, how I, come up, I came across this topic as I started thinking about the uh, decisions that we make on a daily basis. And, you know, you kind of get these true to life left or right decisions. Do I go left? Do I go right? Is the answer yes? Is the answer no? Um, but what happens sometimes is instead of answering that fork in the road question, we decide, and I have to kind of show you my fingers, we decide we're going to ignore the, road, the, the fork and go straight. So what does that mean for us? Let's imagine we're on a country road and we have the choice of going left towards the farm or right towards the city. And in between those forks, uh, there's a cornfield. So when you ignore the decision to go left or right, you ignore making a choice or making a decision. What happens is you choose to go straight. And in some cases, maybe that's a good thing that you choose to go straight. But in many cases, it means that now you have to go through the cornfield which has not been cleared for travel. So you have to fight through the brush and get scraped up by the stalks and all these different things that beat you up and weather you and tear you down um, only to come out to another fork in the road where you have to make a decision. And the decision may still be the same decision that you were supposed to make back when you first encountered going through the beginning of the cornfield. The problem is, is now instead of being able to gradually make your way towards a destination, gradually make your way towards your goals, now you have to make a sharp, hard right turn or left turn to start heading towards the goal, which you already had the decision to veer towards in the beginning. So ignoring forks in the road uh, for me, uh, one, something that happened actually last night, unfortunately, I didn't ignore the fork. I had to make a decision because I've already made a commitment to my end result. Um, uh, last yesterday, as many of you know, was Valentine's day and, uh, I had class last night. So my Valentine's day was spent in law and society class, but, um, my wife, when I, when I was coming out of class, she had sent me a text, hurry up, come home. I made dinner and she got some of my favorite foods. Uh, she got me a Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger with some, uh, crisp cut fries. I enjoyed that. You may not, but I do. Um, and she also got me Cinnabon. Now, I don't know what part of the world you're in, but Cinnabon in my part of the world right here in Sacramento, California, um, is an amazing, amazing, amazing treat. Um, however, I've already made a commitment and I'm on a path, my fork in the road, we'll say, I made a commitment to go left. And that left was a, a journey for me to not lose weight like, oh my gosh, I want to be on The Biggest Loser, but lose weight and get to a, a healthier uh, body fat uh, percentage. So part of that was on January 28th, I made a decision that, you know, for the month of February, probably one of the harder months outside of October and then November, or December to not eat sweets, I'm going to be committed to not eating sweets. And so my wife gives me uh, a great gift, but for me, it's at the wrong time because I'm trying to be healthier and make healthier decisions. So I took everything that was like my favorite and chose instead of ignoring my goal, which is to get to the city or get to a certain, uh, certain body, uh, fat percentage, instead of ignoring that goal and going straight through the farm field, eating the burger, eating the fries and eating the dessert, I said, you know, I would love to enjoy that. Cinnabon, I really would. I would love to just take one bite, but I'm not going to lie to myself and tell myself that I can just take one bite and I'm just going to take one bite of a Cinnabon. So I'm going to take no bites of the Cinnabon. I can't eat the fries. And fortunately, I had enough calories left in the day to be able to eat the burger. So all I got out of the deal was the burger. Um, and that's okay because... I woke up this morning and I didn't have to start thinking about, man, I shouldn't have ate that Cinnabon. 
That's the wheat. That's the uh, corn stalks beating you up as you're walking through the field. Man, I shouldn't have ate those fries. That's the corn stalks beating you up as you're moving through those field. How am I gonna get the energy now to burn off those extra calories? What am I gonna have to do extra to make up that distance that I decided to go backwards on, or that I decided to take through the field? We have this situation happen in a lot of things. That's just one example. Uh, but there's people who want to own homes and. They want to own shoes, and so they decide that they're going to ignore their fork in the road of, do I want to own a home, yes or no, and continue to walk through the cornfield and buy shoes. And that's okay, but you have to decide, are the shoes more important than the yes or no of, do you want a home? You have to decide, are, excuse me, are um, fancy clothes more important than uh, what, your, what your financial goals may be, than retirement? Um, am I okay with being fancy now if that means I'm going to have to work forever? If you are, cool. If you're not, then you might want to start making some better decisions. So really what today's video is about is trying to get you to realize that these decisions that you're making are leading to outcomes that you are inevitably choosing. You have the opportunity when there's a fork in the road to make a decision. If you ignore that opportunity, all you are doing is prolonging the decision that you're inevitably going to have to make. So the easiest way to put it in a nutshell is, <clears throat> excuse me, is that you can make your end result always determine your choice. If you focus on your end result on what you really want and you're honest with yourself about what you really want, then making the decision to get there becomes that much easier. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in with me on Wednesdays. If you like it, share it. If you share it, like it. I'm always willing to engage with you guys in the comments. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, First Row. That's 1-S-T-W-R-O-E. Uh, that's on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel. Like that channel. Share that channel. Share the videos. Everything. Also, you can find a connection to First Row. If you go at First Row at Facebook, this video will be up for replay. I appreciate you guys' time. I love you. God bless.